I'm Justin Jedlicka, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a living doll. Wow, there's a lot to unpack here. Like, why does this man resemble Kris Jenner in an alternative universe? And I've never seen someone use a power tool in their morning skincare routine. That's some hardcore shit right there. Basically, this man Justin is spins in his life trying to make himself look as much like a Ken doll as possible. Ah, yes, Ken. The ultimate Chad and ultra alpha male that has all these Barbies dripping. And to achieve this look, he's had over 125 surgeries in his life. Jesus Christ, he's gone under the knife more than that little girl from the slender stabbing story. And when I first saw this clip, I was like, damn, this guy has a decent physique. He's got some Bruce Lee action going on, but nope, it's all implants. These muscles are for show, they're not for play. They're really no different than those big fake swingers you see walking around downtown. Hey, these are cool. He's had chest implants, bicep and tricep implants, five different nose jobs, and this man even went out and got an eyebrow lift. And you know, five years ago, this shit probably would have been weird to me, but these hoes are out here playing build a baddie. You know, women used to want more of that pear-shaped body. These days, they're going for more of that wisdom tooth look. So I'm just gonna let my god Justin rock out. Listen, man, if Kevin the Cabbage Patch Kid can be a real person, have a college trust fund and all of that, this guy can be a living doll. I'm chalking him right up there next to Pinocchio. So the doll really exemplify sort of the ideal male aesthetic. I like how he thinks Ken is just the ultimate model when in all reality he kind of looks like the dad from the Brady Bunch. And this strange addiction all started back in the day when this man basically had aspirations of being rich. He grew up in a poor family with several brothers and sisters. And in his mind, he always had a clear cut picture of what rich people did. They spent time on yachts, they snorted some blow, and of course all that beautiful, beautiful plastic surgery. Jeez, this chick went from looking like a nice night out at the bar to a rare Peruvian slug. Fucking Randall from Monsters Inc. looking ass. So much plastic all in an attempt to reach back into that fountain of youth and all that thinking really just got him out here looking like an action figure. And don't get me wrong, he didn't start out being this obsessed with the look, but these days he spends hours upon hours in his little lab molding the perfect male physique. And I'm just personally wondering how he affords to live this way. I wouldn't be surprised if some old rich dude was piping this man down. And he essentially wants to normalize people getting implants like him one day. He really wants to be the man leading the charge with his patented Justin implant. His mom, on the other hand, is ready for her son to pull the plug on the surgery fund in hopes of preserving what he can of his natural face. You remember when they said that thing about a face only a mother could love? Justin, you're gonna end up looking weird. <laughs> already there. I would definitely like him to stop if it was my choice. I just don't know many people that could sit and watch their kids do this to themselves over many years and just not think there's anything wrong with them, not think that they might not need any therapy or anything like that. I feel bad for this woman. You can tell she's just trying to be the most supportive mother that she can be, but Jesus Christ, it must be hard rolling around with this kid. And then he goes and meets with his plastic surgeon to talk about the possibility of getting ab implants put into his torso. I get to be my own canvas and I get to create what it is to make make me really resemble a doll. And even the doctor is looking at this guy like he's out of his fucking mind. Can you imagine having these silicone pockets just sitting in the pits of your stomach? There's bound to be some serious problems in post-surgery side effects. And this is when Justin admits that he's spent over $170,000 on his different surgeries throughout the years. I've had long-term boyfriends that, you know, said, what do you want for Christmas? Pecs. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 170k down the shit and you don't look anything like Ken, bro. This long neck motherfucker is out here looking like a feminine dinosaur. And I think the surgeon is really starting to see through this guy at this point. You can tell the second he takes off his shirt, this man is ready for this appointment to be over. As a fellow surgeon, this shit must look absolutely ridiculous to him. It's like a mockery of art. And Justin seems like the type that will never be happy no matter how accurate the work looks. He truly wants a picture perfect body and this man is basically saying that that's not going to be possible. It's kind of like trying to paint a Picasso with some crayon. Crayola crayons. There's really just not enough there to get the job done. With all due respect, you are conforming to common dictates of taste, but cartoon versions of it. You know, what the doctor really wanted to say is, no offense, but you look completely fucked up. And I'm not gonna be the one to unfuck this all up, so get the fuck out of my office. This man is getting flamed. And so they both weren't fucking with each other by the end of this exchange. Justin looks like he's personally contemplating murder in the back of his head after that cartoon remark. If you can't give me what I want, then tell me up front and be up front, and I'd rather say, peace out. I'll do my own thing. Damn, that sounds like a tweet from a chick who keeps getting played. But I can't say I disagree with the surgeon here. This guy clearly has some inner issues that he needs to work out because seeking appearance validation over this long of a time period is truly a sign of mental illness to me. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of these cases with the rise of the social media era. There's a lot of people out there that think you need to look a certain way or act a certain way, and they're getting surgery to get that shit done. Like, it's crazy. If this guy were getting paid to do this, it would kind of make sense to me. But he's obviously not when he's out here using power tools on his own face. 
I really think this whole surgery bullshit is getting completely out of hand. If you want a nice body, you should lift weights, exercise, and eat right. This fucker tried using cheat codes and it basically fucked his whole life. But what do you guys think about this video? Do you feel bad for him? Do you feel like he has some sort of mental condition? Let me know how you feel down below. And as always, drop a big like on the video. The support has been so amazing, man. The support on the last video with the face cam was crazy. So I do want to thank you guys for showing me so much love all the time. Please subscribe today if you're not. It's your boy Jamari and I'm out. Peace. Fuck yo, designer on my mama, I get fly without the labels. 15 minutes saving, stacking paper with no staples. Geico wonder how I do it. Shot from every angle, yet the style is so congruent. I make these niggas mad when I'm dressing like they dads out the 80s. Rekindle that fire, now I'm sparking all the interest with they ladies. Like, where you get your clothes, nigga? What you call your style, boy? Can you take me shopping to some places I ain't never been? Imani found that Dolce and Gabbana and Betty rocking the shit up out that letterman. Let us Falling off, but never ever is cheddar falling off. No, never ever is cheddar falling off.